Hey, what's up everyone? Today I have a short video. This could be the first video of a three-part series. This one's going to be all about just adding some simple planes. The next one will be stock model and the third will be thread milling. So here we go. So here's our part. And what we want to do is just add those holes and those angled faces. So in this video, it'll all be be about just adding planes. So we're going to duplicate the top plane. We'll call it 100 for op 1. Okay. And this is basically when we touch off the part, this will be the plane we're using for our three axis mode. So next, we want to add planes on those angled faces so we can go 3 plus 2 mode to do the thread milling. So we'll go from solid face, click on that angled face, and we're going to rotate the model 90 degrees and 90 degrees. We'll call it 101. Next, we'll click on the next face, do the same thing, call it 102. Click on the next face, click the check. Call it one zero three. So that'll be op one hundred side three. So that's one zero one, one zero two, one zero three, and we just need one more. From solid face. So really adding the planes is all about keeping them organized. So I use the the 100 system but you guys could use like a letter system like A or OP1, A, OP1, B or just find some clever way to keep everything organized so you can come back to it later. So a little side note, you want to select all those and make them uh, manual and type in zero. So they're all G G54. We'll do that in the next video, but just want to make note of that before I let you guys go. So this is just a simple way to add planes to a part. Uh, be on the lookout for the next video. It'll be about creating a stock model. And then finally, we'll do thread milling on those holes and I'll show you how to go in the parameters and make it um, so we'll go 3 plus 2 mode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout and uh, we'll see you later.